Hey there, back here on the long trail. So uh, last night got to camp and it started raining about 30 minutes later, so it was like perfect timing. You may have noticed that we're not really putting in big days, probably averaging a little under six miles a day, um, but it's really only three half days just due to getting on the trail and uh, you know, getting the trailhead and uh, just conditions. Also, um, there's not many places to put up tents around here. Uh, it's just just the rugged terrain. So it's almost like you're, you're forced to go to the shelters. So. Uh, yeah, just uh, some limited options uh, when you consider all the factors. But uh, I did sleep in a shelter last night. Uh, there were five of us, one person per platform, and one person uh, just slept on the floor, uh, which may not have been a good choice because there were some munching sounds and the guy awoke to uh, a hole being chewed into his backpack by a hungry little mouse. So uh, first time seeing any mice in the tents, or sorry, in the shelters, but uh, they're there, so uh, definitely safeguard your things. And here on the side of the trail, we have a few leaves that are already changing. Things are looking good. Here, just south of Haystack Mountain, there's actually one of the very few clearings where you could put up a tent if you really needed to. Now, last night's rain gave us a little bit of mud, so yippee. Now, here we get to the intersection. Uh, Haystack Mountain, 3223, says I gotta walk that way, 0.2 miles. Let's see what the view's like. Not a bad view at all. You can actually see towns down there as well. Well, the good thing about all that rain last night is it's provided us a lot of water. Hey everyone, so uh, it's the end of another day here on trail. Uh, no complaints. Well, at least none by me. Um, so uh, we were going to do uh, a big day today to kind of, you know, since uh, you know we're starting to get our trail legs and everything's good. Uh, we're looking at about a 13.3 mile day, and we we're going to bypass this shelter that we're at, which is only at about six miles. But uh, Emily, who is back there hello there you are hey <laughs> she uh, unfortunately uh I twisted her uh, her ankle so uh yeah she's a trooper and wanted to press on but uh, i kind of suggested that uh let's 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 chill here and let it heal otherwise you know no sense in um you know putting an extra what seven eight miles on a, on a hurt ankle let it rest so that's what we're doing and we met some other folks we got this uh gentleman here <laughs> so as well as we got a uh, another father son team there man in the campfire so we got Glacier and Grasshopper. <laughs> so, and of course, Dan's right there we just chat chatted with. So, uh, but yeah, I got a little fire going, uh, kind of drying it out, the wood, because uh, of all that rain last night. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to head to bed here uh, after enjoying the fire and uh, try to uh, put in some good miles tomorrow. Depends on how the ankle's feeling. All right, I got him. Hey, good morning. Check out this amazing lake. But it's not just a lake. It's a beaver pond. Yep, beavers made this thing. So it's a little uh, reminder we need to get busy like the beaver. Here on the way to the summit of Mount Belvedere, we have to go up this little side trail, which is 0.2 miles, and then we'll be at the top. We've arrived at the summit, but the summit gets even higher, because you can climb the tower to the top. Let's do it! And here we are at the summit of the watchtower of Mount Belvedere at 3,333 feet. Quite the breathtaking view from up here, and if you look close, the leaves are actually starting to change a hue of red. Well, here we've got a bush that's already a vibrant red. Let's see if the rest of these trees can fall in line and do the same. And this tree here, he got the memo about changing colors. Here we are at Devil's Gulch, popular with long trail hikers and day hikers. I think we're coming up on the slippery section because there's a ladder that's actually bolted in. Devil's Gulch here uh, is pretty awesome. The video doesn't do it any credit, but there's lots of moss and ferns, and it's pretty sketchy. I couldn't imagine trying to do this uh, after that rain the other day. All right, we've reached the uh, branch that'll lead us to uh, Spruce Ledge Camp. And there's water here, as Emily is demonstrating as the expert of water filtration. And uh, yeah, today was almost an eight mile day, so her uh, ankle's feeling a little bit better, but uh, don't wanna push it too much yet. Here is Spruce Ledge Camp. This is where we're gonna be spending the night. Uh, I wonder why they call it Spruce Ledge. This might be the reason why they call it Ledge. Let's check out the ledge. Woo wee. Nice place to sit. Danger, sheer drop. Cool, all right. Very nice, got a little lake down there. Beautiful view. And good morning, here we are at the overlook waiting for that sunrise. Got the lake and 
There's the sunrise. Good morning! So apparently we're at another mountain peak. It really just felt like a hill. As you can tell, there's not much view. So apparently there are two Bowen Mountains. And the trail continues. Now this is my kind of trail. Nice and wide, lined with birch trees. Oh yeah! Here we are at Basin Brook. Normally a reliable source of water, there's only a few little stagnant puddles with just an inkling of a flow. Why do you build me up Butternut Mountain just to let me down? Hey, down? Down is good. Well, it's always good to see signs, especially if you're on trail. I'm going to stop by the Corliss Camp here, though, because there is water. 350 feet, and uh, that lattice water source was uh, not so good. And I might stop and have a snack there at the camp. And there's also a privy here, so uh, poop on. And here we are at another mountain peak, Laraway Mountain at 2,790 feet. And we are still not above tree line, so our view is definitely obscured. I don't know if this counts as peak bagging or not. And finally, we get to see a view from this place. And you got someone loitering. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Woo. If you look close, you might be able to see the leaves changing. Amazing. Well, this here is supposed to be the view. But I see three people, but none of them are Whoopi Goldberg. Hey, Newt. How are you? Where's Ripley? Did the aliens get her? Centuries ago, property lines were marked with rock walls. Some of them still stand today, like here, near the Long Trail. Here, deep in the woods, on the Long Trail, we have these blue hoses attached to maple trees. This is where world-famous Vermont maple syrup comes from. Hey, good evening. Well, today was a longer day than a normal day. It was 15.1, uh, and I uh, got here to Round Top Shelter, and there's already some uh, long trail hikers here. These are northbounders. Uh, Emily and I decided to uh, hike uh, separate today. No, we're not fighting or anything. We just wanted to try our own paces. She's going to be here in a little bit, and uh, but for now, uh, it's looking like we're going to have some company tonight. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, as you can see, Emily's back there. She did make it into camp here last night, only about 90 minutes after I did, so she was really smashing out those miles like a rock star. Um, we ended up uh, sleeping here with, uh, there's probably about, I don't know, probably about eight people or so. Uh, it was a little more crowded than I'm used to, but luckily they're all uh, northbounders. They've been on the trail for a while, so we're not really worried about COVID. But what we are worried about now is food, because we're about, you know, we're, uh, we're dwindling uh, our food supplies, but uh, we only got a few miles. We're going we're gonna to get into the town of Johnson and uh, get some food and maybe a pizza. Mm. Just north of Johnson, Vermont, we have Prospect Rock where we get an amazing view of the valley. And look, here's a tree that decided to change colors. Beautiful oak tree. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray and the sky is gray. Hey, I've been for a walk on an autumn day. Here we are crossing the Lamoile River. Pretty cool. Hey, here we are at the road that's gonna lead us into Johnson. Hopefully one of these trucks doesn't hit us, because we're hungry. Hey everyone, well we made it here to Johnson. Uh, great resupply at the hardware store of all places, you wouldn't expect. Uh, grocery store has a, um, has a great deli, you can get a sandwich, uh, get pretty much everything you need between the hardware store and the uh, grocery store. And there are actually two inns that you can stay in if you want to get off the trail and uh, get a real bed and a shower for the night. Place uh, we picked here was uh, Green Valley Farms uh, Bed and Breakfast. It's a nice, uh, nice place, uh, very friendly uh, staff and uh, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it, but uh, gonna get some rest and uh, then get back on the trail in the morning.